out here, right? You know what I'm saying? Y'all been working, getting it in. And only thing I can tell you is, you don't got no choice but to listen to me because who else gonna come and tell you what I'm about to tell you? When I speak, man, I ain't speaking just to play with you. I came here to wake your soul up, man. I'm for real about this. I see young men out here. I don't see little boys out here. But the thing is, a lot of us got character issues. And I hear your folks talking about, you know, some of y'all doing this or doing that that you shouldn't be doing. But the main value that you got to have is what's important in the future. What's your most important thing? All of y'all plan on playing at the next level. Raise your hand if you want to go to the next level. Because you shouldn't even put on the path if you don't want to go to that next level. You got to at least want to get to that level. But the thing is, the right now is killing y'all. Because right now, you want to go get with the girl. Right now, you want to go smoke some weed. Right now, you want to go hang out. That's the now thing. That now is going to kill your future opportunities. How many dudes y'all watching in the NFL that's getting kicked out the league for making dumb decisions right now? When they on the field, they doing what they supposed to. But outside of this right here, they don't have the character. How many of y'all ever heard of Eric Thomas, E.T.? When you want it as bad as you can breathe, that's when you'll be successful. Okay? All of y'all heard of that, right? That's the truth, man. But the thing is, most of y'all don't want this thing as bad as you can breathe. You want, you want the girls. You want everything else outside of this. This is y'all family. Y'all got <coughs> coaches out here that care about y'all, man. Everybody don't got this. And I know for a fact everybody ain't going home to a man in the house that's going to have your best interest at hand. Everybody ain't got that. But y'all got men here that got your best interest. And most of y'all giving them their butt to kiss. You got to change that, man. It start with you and it start with your commitment. Your commitment to your future will cause you to make different choices. When you getting ready to go hang out with that dude or hang out with that girl or to go get some weed, you should be thinking about that. Your future is in your hand. Every choice you make, every time you make a decision, you should be thinking about that. Right now, no, I can't do that because that's a now thing. Those now things is going to limit your future. Most of y'all window is closing. How many seniors I got out here? Man, that window is this close to being closed. This close to being closed. If you don't go in the playoffs and dominate, your season over. Your season over. You better treat every day and every practice like it's your last, because it could be. Y'all walking around like you got all the time in the world. You don't. <coughs> And I know you're thinking, like, who is this dude that he could come in and tell you something, man? I come from a broken home, too, man. My father went to prison for 17 years for selling drugs, man. So that's why I never chose to use drugs or sell drugs or mess with drugs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. You'll never catch me doing it. Why? It ain't because I don't think it's cool. It ain't because I think it's this or that. It's just because of my value, my character. That's why I do what I do, man. Because I understand you got that talent. But guess what? Your talent can take you somewhere that your character can't hold you. That's what happened to my man Ray Rice. Ray Rice, one of the top NFL running backs at his time. But his character was so low, he put his hands on a woman. Now he'll never touch another football again. If that's what got to happen, that's what's going to happen to get your attention. If you want to be able to play this game, if you want to be able to go to the next level, you gotta have those decisions going from one place to your future. That's it. I watched some of y'all as y'all was practicing, man. Some of y'all got some real talent, man. And I ain't somebody that's just watching and just like, oh, he's kind of tall. I'm, I'm not a college scout, man. I did this. I played. I got my championships. And I understand what it takes to get there, man. And it's a commitment. And it ain't gonna be one person. It's gonna take y'all whole team coming together. Coaches and all, man. You gotta be who you say you are. You can't be out here trying to be a leader, but off this field you smoking weed, or you stealing from your teammates, or you having sex in the hallways or whatever. You can't be no leader doing that. You gotta be who you say you are. And my biggest thing that I would leave you with is you gotta be willing to go the extra mile. That's my whole thing. I got my little, my little uh, Instagram thing. I give them motivation every day. That's what I do. And I always put mile on it. And they like, why you do that? What's, what's that whole mile thing? 
It's because I'm willing to go the extra mile. It's less traffic there. You go the extra mile, everybody ain't gonna do that. Watch this. How many people wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, 6 a.m., raise your hand. Raise your hand if you wake up at 5. Raise your hand if you wake up at 4. Raise your hand if you wake up at 3. That same guy who y'all said wanted as bad as you can breathe, I talked to him. I talked to him today on the phone, Eric Thomas. He wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning, man. 3. He said he wake up at 3 because ain't nobody else going to do it. That's how he got ahead. You might not be the strongest. You might not be the fastest. Y'all might not be the most talented team. But if you're willing to outwork everybody when nobody else is working, that's when you're going to be great, man. That's where greatness comes from. You got to be willing to go the extra mile. And when y'all willing to go the extra mile, these trophies right here get bigger. More people start to go to school. Y'all win, everybody get into school. Y'all win state championships, everybody go to school. You don't have to look at that guy and say, well, he might make it. He probably ain't going to make it. He might make it. You ain't got to do that no more. Because if everybody got the right character and your team is together, it's hard to break that. And now people see that and they're like, well, if I take him, I got to take him too. That's called a package deal, right? I'm all right with getting on with a package deal. If he get a million and I get a million too, that sounds good to me. I don't know about you, but I'll take it. So you got to understand, if you don't have that stuff in line with what your future is, you're going to mess it all up, man. You're going to mess it all up. Stop thinking about what's happening now. Stop thinking about that video game. Stop thinking about going over to the girl's house. Stop thinking about what party's going to go on. Start focusing on what your future is. Because you don't get another chance, man. As a young black man, I understand that. You don't get another chance. Even as a Latino, guess what? I'm half Puerto Rican and half black. So I got both sides of y'all. You don't get another chance, man. You make one mistake, it's over. That's your record. That's your character. Ray Rice, he in deep, 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 deep. It's going to be hard for him to ever get another chance, man. It ain't enough time for him to ever get back in the NFL. It ain't enough time on earth for him to get back in the NFL because he made one mistake. Are you willing to give up everything to get to where you want to be? That's my question. You got to be willing to give up everything. I'm talking about the girls. I'm talking about the drugs. I'm talking about everything. You got to be willing to give that up. Because I guarantee you, you spend more time on the phone and texting on social media and on Madden than you do watching film. I hope that hit one of y'all. Somebody is watching more film than y'all. Somebody is in the weight room longer than y'all. And somebody is getting up before you. Mm -hmm. You better take that. You better take that. Tomorrow morning, when you talking about, oh, I don't really want to get up, man. Shoot, it's Friday, it's game day, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to school a little bit late. Yeah, I know y'all do that. I'm going to go a little bit late because it's game day. I'm going to get a little extra rest. You ain't got time for it. You need to get up and watch some film. You need to wake up at about 4 or 5 in the morning and get you about a good hour of film in. You're going to get the rest before the game. I know your coaches let you take a little nap before the game. Get up early. Do something different, man. And start with one tour. Go down a different path, man. Go that extra mile. There's less traffic there. Go the extra mile. So y'all the Cavaliers, right? So my thing for y'all is mile Cavaliers, man. Now from now on, when y'all on y'all little social media and stuff, tag that, mile Cavaliers. Because I want to see y'all boys going the extra mile. I want to see the boys that be in the weight room pumping the iron. I want to see y'all out there getting it in in the other sport. And y'all writing y'all letters of intent. I want to see that, man. I want to see y'all go that extra mile. Don't lay down for nobody, man. 